New York Comic Con, you thought you could keep us out, but you can't keep us out. Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh. I'm Bobby T. And I'm Chrisa, and we're celebrating this toy life for life. So, guys, we are here again, and we're back. It's Comic Con. Yeah. I am. I, I, I want to say the F word right now. <laughs> I want to, like, really, like, that's how pumped I am. Not only can New York Comic Con, you know, they can't keep us down. Chenbot can't even keep no. us from off from Chen. off the air. Dude, I shut down Sky. <laughs> <next week>. So um, <laughs> yeah, there are a ton of exclusives. Uh, before we get started, as always, do like, share, and subscribe. And a quick plug for a podcast I'll actually be jumping onto tomorrow: uh, Burning River Wrestling Podcast. You can check them out pretty much on every format: uh, Anchor FM, iTunes, and pretty much yeah, all the the. It's an audio podcast. Uh, we are going to be talking about, last week we talked about death matches and where the line in the sand is between mm-hmm. a gimmick match, a hardcore match, and a death match. Um, this week we're going to talk about uh, wrestling figure knockoffs and kind of the speculators market and mm-hmm. why certain things are worth what. So it's going to be more toy episode, but based though, all around wrestling toys. Now is your stance that Alexa Bliss figure should be worth always the, the, the most yeah the most exactly. okay gotcha absolutely so um <laughs> <laughs> lighting collection for the win i just now thought about what character that can see me yeah there are, uh, so khalil already saying there's a hell of knockoff wrestling toys very much mm. dude, there's so many out there uh, and now we're actually starting to see more specifically my favorite toy line is the wwf um hasbro line that line, it's been around. It started in 1989, ended in 1994. There are 11 different series, and the Series 11 is very hard to find. Mm-hmm. It's hard to find loose, let alone carded. Yeah. This dude just popped up out of nowhere with the rarest figures, like a truckload of mm-hmm. them. Where did these figures come from? So we're going to talk China. about that. Yeah, yeah. actually, <laughs> absolutely. So um, the, what some people are saying is, oh, well, maybe he just opened up a... You know, a warehouse or a storage mm-hmm. unit in China somewhere, and they, there they were, and that does happen. Yeah. But if there's, especially on the Hasbro's, um, there's a finite number. The people who are into this know everything about it and can almost account for every one of these figures. Mm-hmm. So no, that probably didn't happen. That there's like these case fresh. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So um, we're going to be talking more about that. So NYCC, however, for today. Um, the amount of exclusives are going to be nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, so what exclusives are you guys looking forward to? Throw it in the chat before we get started. Uh, we will definitely try to talk about everything we can. We're going to start off with Funko. Yeah, so many DBZ. So many DBZs, but I'm hearing around everywhere that the, um, release dates on some of the things will be on Friday and some of them will be on Thursday. They're splitting up the release dates. We can't seem to find confirmation. Yeah, this, I though. I have not heard any information about that. So if you if anybody out there does have some solid uh, uh, evidence for that, please post it in the chat because uh, that it's important to us. You know, we we want to go pop hunting on uh, on Comic Con Day as well, and I want to get my my Vegetas and everything. So that would be nice to know. Um, yeah, that that. Yeah, we really got to know what's going mm-hmm. on with that because. Especially, so we'll just we kind did of get really... confirmation from Target, right? You, I think you had sent me that that message that it will yes, be Friday. So Target, I think Target is confirmed that it will be Friday. But really, Hot Topic is the more important, um, yes. exclusive because there they have the six inch Vegeta. Yes. So there's going to be a lot of anime pieces this time yeah. around, and there's going to be, I mean, Toy Tokyo knocks it out of the park Ugh. again. As much, I mean, I, it's just it's such a love hate relationship with Toy Tokyo because I love what they do and you know I love the exclusives that they have, but I just wish they were a little bit easier to to get. Well, I think this year we're gonna be okay. Well, yeah, I mean we're gonna be we're gonna be at con, so or we're gonna be at the yeah. con. We're gonna be ready to go. I am actually running directly to the Toy Tokyo yeah. booth. I'm not. I know right where it's at. I'm going directly mm-hmm. to it. We're getting. I'm getting right in line. Nice. I'm gonna get everything I can. Yeah. Um, Hopefully I actually, we uh, we run into them on, on Wednesday. I want more. I want almost all of my stuff 
that I want from the con comes from the Toy Tokyo booth mm-hmm. and Vertebrae 33's booth. Yeah. And I don't think I really want much else. So th- this will be pretty interesting for me. Um, so to run down the prices right now, there there is an established con pricing list. So we're just going to fire through that right now. I'll, I'll throw it up in the chat also so you guys can see it. Uh, a pop is going to be 15. Six inch pop is 20. Uh, two packs are 30. Now, one interesting thing is the Jan mm-hmm. Brady is technically a two pack, yeah. but will be sold as a single. Oh, that's good. That's so, nice. So, um, what we're talking about is the Jan Brady pop is going to come in a two pack size box. One pop is Jan Brady, the other pop is George Glass, and it's not a figure, just mm-hmm. an invisible. Yeah. So, but it's going to, I do believe it's going to be that $15 price point. That's pretty good. That's good on them. Because you know they could have charged thirty bucks for that, and people yeah. would have bought it anyway. I think at the most they could they could get away with saying, "Okay, it has to be twenty yeah. because the shipping because it's going to cost them as much to ship it mm-hmm. due to size." So I could see them saying twenty, but from my understanding, it's going to be fifteen. Um, pop three packs will be thirty five. Uh, pop movie moments or yeah, pop movie moments are forty. Rides are forty. Dorbs are ten. The five stars are fifteen dollars. We opened a five star last week mm-hmm. in that Harry Potter box. Which guys go out and get this Harry Potter box at GameStop? It's amazing. Um, the Harry Potter was the Seeker Harry Potter, and he looks yeah. so cool. Yep. I did not think I was gonna like a chibi pop Harry Potter, but mm-hmm. awesome. Better, better than I think most of them though. Um, all right, the cereals are gonna be ten bucks. The rock candy figures will be fifteen. Vinyl two packs are twenty. The action figure four packs will be thirty, and that's another thing that I want to get. And mm-hmm. I think it's Entertainment Earth, maybe Fye has the um, Married with Children four pack. Oh, okay, that's that's the figure pack that they're talking about. And then the vinyl figure two packs will be fifteen dollars. So we have quite a few things here, yeah. and ones I just don't care about. That it's just like one way or the other who gives yeah two craps about them, but. Um, so so like all right, there's an Arthur Curry. I don't care. No. Who cares? Like it's the Jason it's the Jason Momo and the the jeans with mm-hmm. his all look at me dude pants and tattoos. I don't care. I don't care at least. They should have gotten the rock to be to be Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock Woman. Now man, that would have been awesome. So uh let's take a break. So, I don't know. All right, so Jason David Frank just came up in the chat. Mm-hmm. He's always at something. Okay. Like, last year. He was at he Comic-Con was at last year, yeah. Toy Tokyo yes. last year signing the Zords, uh, the Dragon Zords. He's always there. There is going to be a Zord pop, isn't there, this this year? I think it's like a Ultra Dinozord or something. Yeah, there's a, uh, yeah, it's something big. We'll, we'll definitely get to mm-hmm. that. All right, so, oh, there you go, Levi saying that there is an Instagram screenshot from Hot Topic confirming a 10-5 release date. Okay. So, for, for their exclusives. Um, so, let's get, all right, we'll get right back into the regular show here. Again, guys, before we keep going here, like, share, and subscribe, as always. Uh, the more we get watching, the more, the merrier, really. Yeah. And when it comes to, before, actually, before we get into this. We are going to be at Comic-Con on Wednesday, the day before it opens. We're going to do a live walk around. We're going to try not to really talk that much, uh, just to really not give ourselves away. Yeah. Uh, we're not really supposed to be probably doing what we'll be doing, but we're going to do it because people want to see this stuff. Um, Chris, as always, you say that's like your favorite part. Yeah. Is the setup. Last year, we got to watch uh, the Shadow of War booth set up their dragon, and they so let us, awesome. yeah, they let us sit on it and um, and ride it and stuff. It was awesome. Yeah. Chris almost died. I did. Uh, I, I put my head in its mouth. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> it was yeah. so awesome. So, um, we're going to be there for that stuff. We don't really want to talk again, not to give ourselves away, but there will, the chat will be rolling and we'll be answering chat, uh, you know, whether it's Chris holding the camera and me doing the mm-hmm. chat or vice versa. Um, so we'll have that going on. We have interviews with um, Mezco, Diamond Select, uh, geez, who else? Vertebrae 33, Playmobil. Uh, we're going to try to talk to Imaginex again. Nice. Oh man, I hope that Batman. I, yeah, I hope that Batman kid is there again. So last year, uh, <laughs> we, I got my soul hadoukened right out of me in the middle of an interview talking about uh, the Batbot Extreme that they were selling yes. there, and a kid came up to me and said, "My house burned down," and it was just like in the video, me and the guy yeah. in the interview were like, 
what the hell just happened? The guy, they're t- they're, the funny thing is, is that the guy is trying to talk about the product, right? And he's like showing off everything this bat, you know, bat bot mm-hmm. can do or whatever. And uh, and so Bobby and him are talking about the product, <laughs> and this kid is in the shot, and he's trying to play with the toy, and he's while, trying to talk to yes, us. He's actively yeah. talking to us. While we're trying to have, like, an interview yes. with each other. And, like, they're trying their best to ignore this kid. But, of course, you know, kids will not be ignored. And he's just doing his best to, to, to you know, get himself noticed. Yeah, no, he was not to be ignored. Yeah, the and, then, and then he said that. And, just... and like, they, it, it was, like, dead silence for, like, a few seconds. And you can kind of see the look in, in Bobby's, like, <laughs> eyes. Just, which is quite a feat because, you know... Your your eyes are pretty dead to begin with, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so to get to elicit that kind of response, dude. No, he really knocked yeah. it right out of me. It was really the kind of hit where, like, how do I even come back from this? Oh, it was, yeah. Really, really funny. I'm actually trying to find the video now so I can put it into the chat. It's on the old Five Live VP channel from our, uh, our obviously our Comic Con uh, coverage here. Oh yeah, man, I can't find yeah, it. it was. It was. It was pretty pretty rough it was pretty rough to say the least and then we tried we tried to get another interview with the guy right uh because because of everything that had happened with this kid and the 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 person who was running the booth his voice was pretty much like shot shot. yeah yeah there was no way yeah and so he couldn't even give another interview because we're talking to super seven also oh nice so yeah that was another one and pcs toys they have tons of mortal Kombat giant scale statues nice um we're gonna watch that booth set up too actually that's gonna be really fun i think i am debating doing a time lapse Mm -hmm. where maybe we could see the cases go up there you go because what uh chris and i help out setting up that booth and what's kind of cool is you set up a uh, a base a huge base because these are giant statues And then we put up huge lucite walls kind of around them. Uh, it's just so cool to get the lighting going yeah. and stuff. And their statues are amazing. Oh, the statues are. And, like, you have to, like, really get the uh, the, the plexi, like, up and over. This, like, yeah, it's it's <laughs> That's insane. the other part. We have to set the things up. Yeah, so they're, like, mm-hmm. the base is already at three feet. And these are up to three feet tall. Mm-hmm. Like, that the Sagat last year yeah. we had to do. It was, like this yep. heavy lucite thing and we're like fully extended our arms up to get it over and wow yeah, but it, it looks so cool oh no it was an awesome that figure yeah or an awesome statue um i had a blast like i said I, I had a blast doing the setup it was a lot of fun uh i had fun during the con event too like we we went to the um the funimation panel yep and we uh definitely we had, doing that stuff again. that that was so much fun they you know at that point last year you know um dragon ball super was like you know right at the at the apex of its uh, of its story arc, and everybody's talking about Jiren. They're talking about Goku. You know, um, yeah, well, My Hero Academia was, my, was, was just massive. yeah. I think season two was just coming out at that point, so they had a big thing and about were, that too. They were too. putting a lot of money into VRV at that point, yes. also. So they were really pushing VRV. Uh, we're going to be there for that, all mm-hmm. that stuff again. So I mean, I, I'm super pumped. Yeah, I don't even know what else to say about it. We're just so fired up. So uh, let's jump back in some of the stuff that we really like. Um, again, that super, the, uh, the great eight, oh, the great eight, Vegeta, yeah, fantastic. And this just upsets me. We, we already talked about this last week, but why wasn't Broly a six inch? Yeah, that's a miss. Uh, he should have been. If you were going to make the ape anyway, why not make? So, uh, these, we've talked about this and this is a little bit of our, our own little speculation. DBZ pops always seem to be worth more. Yes. Uh, it doesn't seem to be matter how many they make. Uh, they hold their value or increase in their value. Mm-hmm. If you're interested in investing in a collection, uh, that's probably a good place to start. Yeah, I mean, I kind of lucked into into the Dragon Ball Z collection. Uh, I I had started out with a few loose, like random um, pops. I, the mm-hmm. the first two pops I bought were a big sister and, or I'm sorry, a little sister and a big daddy from Bioshock. Uh, just because I, I love that game, game yeah, I, I love that franchise. So I was like, I need to support these guys. And then I still wasn't like in love with Pops, but I didn't hate them as much as I as I once did. Mm-hmm. And we had the the kid Gohan come out, 
And I was like, oh, that one looks really cool. You know, he's got, like, the little Dragon Ball hat, and the, uh, his tail is, like, out. I'm like, that's awesome. I really like that because it doesn't look like a standard, you know, doofy pop. So I bought it. And then they released a Dragon Ball pop with Goku riding the Nimbus. I was like, oh, my God, that's awesome. You got he's right in. Yeah, he's riding the Nimbus. That's like, happens, that's man. a really cool figure. I, I like it. So I bought it. And then uh, they did... The Comic Con, I think, not last year, but the year before, uh, they had a Trunks, um, a Super Saiyan Trunks pop, and I was like, I need to buy that because it's, mm. you know, it's Trunks. It just it's sucks you in, man. Yeah, and it so does. then I realized that, like, from the few couple randos I bought, I had a couple of Dragon Ball ones. I was like, well. So this actually kind of brings me to another topic that got you fired up this week. Mm -hmm. This week you were told. At your job by a customer that you cherry pick things. Yes, that I that I could cherry pick. I them. have yeah. to tell you that is nonsense. <laughs> I have tried to get Chris to like say like, hey, if you get this Chasen, can you tell me? He never tells yeah. me. Yeah. I always have to find out like, and then it's like, all right, a race to the store or just don't get it. <laughs> um. So, but truthfully, you don't do that. No. And the reason why I can actually point to an exact moment is, and, and a thing to why mm -hmm. you wanted the metallic Vegeta from yeah. the, the Dragon Ball box uh, that was at GameStop. Yes. Uh, last Black Friday, they had uh, a mystery, a mystery Funko box, and there was, I think, I don't remember exactly how many uh, different. Pops could be in this box, but there were two. Uh, there were two Vegetas that were that could be in this box. I bought a couple on Black Friday, and I got one of the Vegetas I, I had I wanted. So I bought a couple more, and I, and I they I, I they just weren't. It wasn't coming up for me. Yeah, and, you, you had to keep going back to the well. Yeah, so. what I did, actually, what I did was um, I sold all of the pops that I would bought from the box. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I, I I needed to get these things, right? So I sold I sold the, the extras that I would got, and then I used those to buy more mystery boxes. And mm -hmm. I know I probably could have just, like, I could have just probably bought the Vegeta off of eBay at that point. Mm -hmm. But but at that point, uh they were still kind of rare. Yeah. And they were they so, they were more. But the point here in all of this is if you were cherry picking, and this is why you called me and you're like mad. Yeah. Like, Chris was mad. If you were cherry picking, you wouldn't have had to do that. No. You would have just went right to the one you wanted, open up a bunch, mm. reseal them, no one would known anything, and you could have just moved on. And so it's insane for somebody to say that because you really were like, what well, the it's fuck? just because I don't, I, I can understand why maybe somebody would think that maybe mm. because uh, technically it could be considered a perk of my job, you know, being able to grab, uh, you know, the the stuff that that I want before everybody else, but that's not how that's it not is, it. Uh, because myself as a collector, I don't want to screw somebody else out of something that they really want. You know, uh, if it, if it's something that that's, if it's an item that I really want personally for my collection, then yes, maybe I might see something and be like, you know what? I need this pop because yeah. I'm, I'm missing this dragon ball one. But honestly, um, you pre I pre-order everything. Yeah, yeah you pre-order pre everything. So I pre-order no... everything anyway. So I don't need to I don't need to cherry pick because I'm like, oh hey, look, my yeah. the, you the have ultra, foresight. Yeah, the ultra instinct Goku so, uh, that just came into this box. Oh, look at that. There's one pre-order. It's and you it's, know. yeah, guess who it is. So all right, so yeah, we have that Jam Brady. Um that's gonna be a books a million. That is gonna nice. so Books a Million is nice because it's a little easier to get to. It doesn't seem like there's as much of a line to mm -hmm. get to the stuff, and they do have their exclusives a little bit longer. Uh, there's going to be a core line in pajamas at Hot Topic, one I'm not really personally interested yeah. in. Uh, Toy Tokyo has a, ba a chrome orange Batman. Mm, I, I, I don't really... I wonder where this like kind of chrome craze 
came from. It, it really came like, out yeah. of left field a little, I, huh? I, I, maybe because Marvel Marvel did that tenth anniversary. Um, the tenth, the tenth anniversary uh, yeah, there's, studios, there's pop, yeah, gold ones. and they're all gold chrome. Yeah, so maybe just, everybody was like, "Hey, out. Marvel's doing it. Let's yeah, let's." Hey. You know, I, don't I don't know. So they're just uh, getting lazy now at this point. Like, you know what? We need we need con exclusives. Let's just go chrome, yeah, chrome these things and, and pump them out. These dumbasses are gonna buy so, gonna yeah. buy it anyway because it's got that stupid sticker on it. So there's a Doctor Who one. Uh, it's the Vastra Narada from Hot Topic. Mm-hmm. It's actually a really cool looking pop. I do like that one quite a bit. Um, there's a blue chrome Vegeta. Now again, going back to the chromes, yeah. like we have the gold chrome. The blue chrome is gonna be kind of hard to get. From our understanding of it, isn't this is, the one that's available at uh, that's a, Power Over Nine Thousand? No, no, no. Um, that the Over Nine Thousand is the Chris Zavitz one, which is uh, Majin Vegeta. Oh my! Yeah, um, but Majin apparently, Vegeta. the Over Nine Thousand website has been experiencing some difficulties, and I guess it's not going to be up at on October third. So oh, yeah. I yeah I don't know. Um, so it looks like I know what booth we have to go yeah, directly yeah. to. On well, Wednesday. the problem. So the problem with the Majin Vegeta ex- con exclusive pop is that that one is a lottery. Like it was, yeah. it was random. You know, for for how x amount of people and stuff like that. So I I think a lot of people were, um, banking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of people were banking on that over nine thousand site to to get it from from them, and now they're having some difficulties. So, uh, agreed. Who knows? Ryan yeah. in, the, in the chat saying uh, pearlized stuff is better than chrome. I I agree. What is it? Pearlized. Oh, okay. Uh, Hobby stock looks like they are gonna going into the chat real quick. Hobby stock uh, does look like they're gonna be at NYCC. It's an anime art company. Um, Michelle Mejia asking, isn't that the place where you guys had some noodles and Chris had died and went to heaven? No, that no. is over in uh, St. Mark's Place. Yes. That What was that place called? I don't even know. A, amazing Noodle Booth. That's what, yeah. it's, <laughs> that's what it's called. It's the Tapanyaki Place. Yeah. I, I can't remember exactly the... the... I don't, honestly, I don't even think we looked at what the name was. We just saw what was on the menu. Pretty and, much. Yeah, we ordered. just went in. Yeah. Oh, that place um, was fantastic. No, where we're going to be eating is actually at Gotham Market West, one yes. of our other favorites. Um, Gotham Market's like a food court with just amazing mini it's, restaurants. Yeah, it's basically like a um, a Faneuil Hall. Yeah, uh, but yeah, in, in you know, New yeah, York. there's a raw bar, pizza place, tacos. I, mm. I'm gonna, I'm definitely going with the ramen. I'm gonna pick Cold Day. It might be the one I get on Wednesday on our way home. Yeah, might might grab a bowl of ramen. Um, I might, I might have to do that too because the last time we were there, I did the tacos. And mm-hmm. the, I mean, the street tacos were fantastic, but yeah, I, the ramen. Know, I gotta, yeah, unless we get the Stevie ramen where it's yeah. all just peppers at the bottom and he's like gritting yes. through it. Yeah, that was well. Rough, that man. that's because I paid the man who made the for Jesse <laughs> to to do that. I was like, this guy didn't give me my Infinity Gauntlet. You know what to do. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, Levi saying he loves VRV. VRV is a great service. Yes, um, if you're definitely into just anime in general it really does kind of get them all together yeah so. i was uh actually i was talking uh to um a regular of mine the other day and he was talking about how he was cutting the cord uh of getting rid of cable and this other thing mm-hmm. and uh his son was like well can i still watch dragon ball super and, uh, and he's like yeah and he's like well no and i'm like hey crunchy roll i was yeah. like get get crunchy roll or or funimation uh, you know those those uh, they have a streaming you know um, subscription and you. Oh, can they'll watch. definitely be pushing it again yeah. this year too. So, uh, but yeah, going back into the exclusives for pops, we got the Fallout Assaultatron. That's going to be a uh, GameStop EV Games exclusive. Uh, but, 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 but I don't really care about that. Yeah, I feel like the GameStop exclusives are kind of weak this year. I like the Sheer Khan. But other than that, but it, yeah. What there was maybe? Oh, um, they're doing the vinyl two pack for the Gremlins with the three D glasses. Yes, I do like I that do one. I do like yeah. that one. That's probably mm-hmm. the one I really, really like. Barnes and Nobles has one that's interesting. It's uh, Beric Dondorian from um, Game of Thrones. He is the one who's a follower of the Lord of Light, and he puts his hand over the sword, mm-hmm. and it, the sword just flames up. It is so cool, and that's what the uh, the con exclusive is. It's the flaming sword version. Uh, another one at Barnes and Nobles is going to be uh, George R. R. Martin and the producers of the HBO show in a three pack together. So it's thirty five bucks for a three pack. I have a feeling that's going to be pretty popular. Yeah, I have a really weird feeling that that might. Nah, be nobody know. Nobody likes Game of Thrones. Nah, nah. bunch of jerks. Mm. 
So there's a um, limited piece, 3,000 pieces at, uh, and speaking of Pearlized, um, it's the Atom Bomb from uh, Garbage, Pail, Garbage Kids. Pail Kids as a pop at the Toy Tokyo booth. So you got 3,000 units on that, and the explosion is that mm-hmm. really cool Sofubi Pearlized paint. I really, really like that. Um, another one I really like that's from Fye. I mean, what what deal with the devil did Toy Tokyo make this year, to man? They kicked its ass, man. Jesus. They did so good. <sighs> so, uh, Professor Coral from Fie. If you're a Harry Potter fan, mm-hmm. this is really good, and I really like it because it talks more to what we've been saying that Pop is really starting to step it up. Yeah, that they're doing some cool stuff. Um, this year, there's the uh, Okoye, uh, Okoye, and now the Professor Coral that have removable headpieces. Mm-hmm. Um, she has the removable hair and he has a removable turban and that turban shows the oh, Voldemort yeah. head on the other side of it. So that's just really just such a cool piece. Um, there's a Hermione in the sorting chair. I like that one too. Yeah. At the Barnes and mm-hmm. no- that's a Barnes and Noble exclusive. Uh, Funko shop does not, I, I don't care. Mm-hmm. None. They don't really have anything. Nothing that I that's good that's so outrageous that I'm willing to go into a lottery and yeah. stand in line and then do yeah uh, none of that. Um, again, one I don't really care about: Superman and Flash mm-hmm. in their new DC Fifty Two uniforms, uh, racing each other. Don't really care. Uh, let's see. Oh, Walmart, uh, and we'll talk briefly, quickly here about Walmart too. They're, they're going to be having a uh, Sora in, in Guardian form from or Sora in Guardian form from Kingdom Hearts. It's a lot of words. Yeah. Um, I'm sure Rebecca would like that. I think they are taking the cue Walmart from mm-hmm. Target. If you'll notice, the Target pops are starting to dwindle down. Or mm-hmm. I'm sorry, the Walmart pops are starting to dwindle down. Um, they don't really have a lot. But they're also starting to get rid of hard media, being CDs, DVDs, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And more collectibles are starting to show up in the video gaming section. I think they're taking cue from Target, where Target has that back Funko yeah. lounge fly wall. And then they have, um, in the video game aisles, there's a game aisle, or an aisle of just toys, Mm -hmm. and different swag and stuff like that, then the regular toy aisle, and these are separate. Uh, I think they're going to start really appealing to collectors. That's very interesting. Ryan had brought this up, so... Yeah, I think, honestly, you know, because GameStop is doing the same thing, where where you've got the collectibles in the store now, too, Um, and I think that's just one of those things where uh, I think, I think... I guess market analysts are, are mm-hmm. kind of starting to realize that, 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 uh, these, um, these gamers with, uh, with, you know, not, they, they have a lot of, uh, um, so disposable income, I guess is the, is the right word. Yeah. No kids, and, but jobs. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I think, you know, people are finally realizing that this is an untapped resource is that collectibles and video games kind of go hand in hand and, you know, people that love these video games buy collectibles for said oh, yeah. video games. We're always at Walmart, whether it's for random food mm-hmm. things, but I always go to the toy section. So now I have another spot to go in their store. And the um, other thing too, I mean, now with Toys R Us gone, that's... Yeah. Someone's got to fill yeah. the hole, man. Um, so we also have now from Entertainment Earth the uh, classic Spider Woman, which I think is kind of cool. I like that but, one. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's the Shuri and Chrome from Black Panther. Um, uh, gold Chrome, whatever. It, yeah. It's it's a GameStop again. Like who really cares? All right. So Walgreens, and I think this Walgreens will also be a Friday release. Mm-hmm. It is uh, Hulk versus Hulk Buster Iron Man, where they punch hands. Um, it is a two-pack movie moment, so it'll be 40 bucks. It looks cool, but I, I don't know. I'd rather have... I, I saw one of the Hulk smashing Loki around. Yeah. I'd rather have that one. Um, we have a 90th anniversary Mickey Mouse, Little War One Mickey. Uh, that's at Walmart. FYE has a CC Parak... Parak... I, can, I don't know how... I, you know, I, I didn't even know name. she had a name in that yeah, show, a last name in that show. Um, in From uh, The New Girl. That's at FYE, another mm. just okay one. Uh, tons of One Piece um, fans out there. Yeah. So there's going to be a Brook figure, uh, Brook Pop at Hot Topic. I like the way this looks, but I don't really care about One Piece. No, I'm not a big One Piece fan either. It's you know, it's a shonen with a million episodes that I didn't get into like ten years ago. Exactly. So I'm not going to even try to start. Um, all right. So there's a Reinhardt from Overwatch. Overwatch it's yep. a six inch figure. It looks really cool, but I don't 
play this game. No. <laughs> so I don't really know what I'm even looking at. I'd like to put my head on it. Yeah. <laughs> like take take one of our yeah. heads and put it on like this giant thing. But I mean, like yeah, I don't really know. I don't know either. I don't I don't play Overwatch, so mm -hmm. I don't know. What game do you play? Is 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 there a certain first person shooter that you play? Like no, I don't day play, in, day I don't, out. It I don't seems play like? first person shooters. No? Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> so back at the Funko shop they have Baba Louie. Um Again, cool, but like I, I'm not putting my name in a drawing. Yeah, for that. I would like that better if it was a two pack with Quick Draw McGraw or even yeah. with um, El Cabong if they had him in. in That'd yeah, be really that good. Would... So now here's a pop that you'll never probably get because it's from Target. Um, the Gearhead from Rick and Morty. I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I he's one of the funniest characters. I love that every time you talk to him, it's, how much do you know about the Gear Wars? Yeah. Precisely. <laughs> um, all right. Toy Tokyo. You sons yeah. of bitches. You do it one more time. Taurus B.I.G. with the gold crown is so awesome. Yeah. I want this pop. Like, I'm going to go stand in line as long as I have to. If there's a drawing, I'll be waiting in the mm -hmm. drawing. Um, I, I, I really need this. Like, yeah. in a weird way, I, I really need this. And as a fan of Biggie, I want it. As a fan of Pops, I really want it. As a collector who knows when something might be worth mm. a little more than something else, get this Pop if you can get your hands on it. Notorious B.I.G. figures have notoriously, no pun intended, mm. are known for just being worth more. I don't know why Tupac stuff isn't worth as much or any of the other licenses that are out there, but I do know that big stuff is through the roof it's always it's, it's an east coast bias it, it, you know what i'll that. take it because we're on the <laughs> east coast but um yeah like mezco years ago mezco had done a line and those figures are just so expensive now hundred dollars or more uh, if you get them carded and they have mm -hmm. real clothing the sculpt was beautiful kind of like overplayed like real cartoony mm -hmm. but like not offensively cartoony where you're like oh shit that's exactly it, what yeah. he looks like um I have a couple of those actually down here, and I just like I pull them out probably once a month and just like look at them yeah. in their packages. I'm like, all right, you have to go back That's into right. this. Mo money, mo problems, and then you just That's, slide. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I have a funny story about this big pop. So uh, I got a call. <laughs> I got a call this morning at work, right? And uh, she calls me and she's asking me about the the big pops, right? And she goes, "Do you know where I can get the the biggie pop with the crown?" And I said, yes, it's a New York Comic Con exclusive. And I was like, and I think it's going to be at Toy Tokyo. And she goes, yeah, I understand that. But what, where do I get the pop with the crowd? I'm like, I I don't know how to answer that. Is this because, a trick yeah, question? I mean, because I already <laughs> told you that it's going to be at the Toy Tokyo booth that you have to go hey, to. Yeah. Hey. yeah, no, people don't seem to understand things sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, though, B.I.G., Get your hands on them if you can. Yeah. I think there will always be that that and and I don't. There's that pop in the market. I, again, no pun intended here. Just get out. You're fired. I gotta stop. <laughs> now, um, they they do have this while the con is going on. It is expensive to get some of these exclusives. Yes. Some of that cost comes down. Some of them don't. Uh, I think with this big, it's probably almost immediately going to be a hundred dollars. Yeah. Almost like the minute someone gets it in their hands so be prepared to spend if you get it within the first month in that 100 hundred dollar range uh, and at that point a lot of pops start to go south mm -hmm. i think this one keeps unless they do the the toy tokyo does the yeah, this, drop, like they did yeah this time with the bundles and mm -hmm. the, the which is how we got our vegetas and all of our yes. stuff so i do like that they're releasing the big pop in new york yeah at, you know at, that's that's it's awesome. the best yeah. man and, and that's the other part i think um i was just saying to chris i gotta make sure i get tomorrow these um these pre-sales in at gamestop mm -hmm. um because i want to customize a few yeah i want to paint a few i mean it, they're just why wouldn't i and i actually kind of want to do there's a mural in brooklyn of notorious big and kind of the way it's painted mm -hmm. i want to paint one of the pops in that style yeah, okay so i think that'd be really yeah that'd cool. be cool um so there's going to be a um 
You want to take a swing at that one? Katayanagi twins? Is that there you yeah, go. There you at go. the Funko Shop uh, from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I think this is the only ones that are interesting, mm-hmm. personally, at Funko Shop. And even then, I don't want them. Yeah. Uh, Barnes & Nobles has the Butabi Brothers 2-pack of um, Will Ferrell and Steve Buscemi as no, Butabi uh, Brothers. No, Will Ferrell and um, no, Steve Chris Buscemi, Ka- Chris Kattan. Yeah, Chris Kattan. Steve, Steve Buscemi. I don't know where that came from. Chris Kattan, Steve yeah. Buscemi. Uh, you know what? buggy eyes is that what it is yeah they're wet buggy <laughs> eyes um so another one again going back to hot topic captain rex yeah that's it. a good one i we just watched return of the jedi with baby t mm-hmm. and i got so pumped that old man rex is in there because that basically gave me cosplay till the day i die yeah there you go i as my beard gets grayer i just look more like rex yeah so, i think that's pretty awesome call that a win definitely you know daughter I'm... happy wife all those yeah, I look uh, like Rex. Yeah, there yeah you that's go. more the one I'm looking I mean, for. you know, you only cried when you got a Boba Fett figure and not when you're... <laughs> and not during the day that your daughter was born. Son of so, a I bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those who, who don't know, my wife uh, is still mad at me to this day because I didn't cry when my daughter was born. But uh, I did cry when my friend gave me... Uh, where is he? A uh, graded Boba Fett. Look, priorities. That's what that's really, <laughs> I guess, yeah, right? that's really it's all about. So, uh, yeah, FY is going to have a red, silver, and blue Superman, and it's all just the same sculpt. I do kind of like that, uh, only because... It, well, I like it because uh, America, you know, you got Superman, the... You know, I get it, yeah, but can so, they be three different... Well, I mean, there's a million crappy Superman pops. Can we maybe just... We could, yeah. Recrap them. So uh, this is the we're we're coming on to the share con where he's got the hands together, mm-hmm. Mr. Burnsing basically, and that's going to be a GameStop exclusive. I do like that one. Another Toy Tokyo one, and it kind of this would be their miss. Yeah, I guess one that I don't really care about too much. Um, and it's going to be a limited to three thousand pieces. There's a Beast Boy metallic, not chrome, but mm-hmm. the metallic kind of overspray, um, and it's from the Teen Titans go but it's like the future one or something i think so yeah yeah i can't it says something on the package there what is it it's like team midnight or something like that uh, whatever know. it is uh eh, yeah kind of missed us i guess um that killer frost is cool from the flash but i don't watch the show so i don't mm-hmm. you know we personally don't really get into it um so there's going to be the funky phantom it's a glow in the dark pop limited to a thousand pieces i think this is funko shop I uh, think it so, doesn't yeah. say it, but I think that one's Funko Shop. Mm-hmm. Uh, another Books a Million is the Half Phase Future Predator. I do kind of like that one. I like that yeah. one. Um, you know, he's got a half clear bottom and a painted top portion. So everyone's getting all pumped I, for this, and I don't get it. Yeah. This next one is Korg with, what was it Mike? Mike. Mike. Is, is it Mike? Mike? I, well, I watched yeah. Thor last night, Ragnarok, and I think he I'm says sorry. it weird. It's like Mike or something like that. Mike or... I know. I think he just pronounces it Mike. That's how we. That's how yeah, we were saying. Uh, and then he said it, and I'm like, wait, that's not. What well, we maybe said. it's just his weird New Zealand accent. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> he, oh, dude, he's dead or he isn't. So yeah, this Korg, it's a, it's a GameStop exclusive, and we've seen people get all fired up for this. Yeah, it's Korg not that was great. One, Korg was one of those characters that I think people seem to really love for whatever Meek is Meek. that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Ryan, the Murica, all up in those pops. Yeah. I, I'm just not into it. I don't know. Maybe Why? throw a red one in there. Yeah, there you go. Or a red well, one and a gold one. A red and yellow. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can do a red sun. One. The red, red sun, sun yeah, versions. There you go. Yeah, I like that. And it, a, a black chrome. That would be awesome. If there was a black chrome mm-hmm. Superman, a red a red one, and then a gold one, I think that would be pretty sweet. You know what they should have done is make them um, do a chrome three-pack of... Uh, the Green Lanterns. So do one green chrome, like emerald or whatever, mm-hmm. then one gold, and then cool. one red. I like it. There's red. There's red lanterns, aren't there? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, so I don't really care about that one. So all right, there's gonna be um, again, Touche Turtle and Dum Dum. This is another Funko Shop piece. Like, yeah. Okay, guys. Um, box lunch having one of the ones that I want, and we don't have a box lunch near us, so we're not gonna get this. I think you might be able to order it off a of box lunch. Fingers crossed, because yeah. I do want this. It is the um... good luck, though. I tried. I tried ordering that that the, those um, the fusion dance yeah, two pack from box lunch. Yeah, I had a real hard time uh, ordering off their site. Uh, so, so there's going to be a Toy Story pop 
uh, rides, and it is the Pizza Planet truck with Buzz Lightyear in it, a little mini Buzz Lightyear. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. It's such an iconic piece of Pixar. Uh, The truck has basically appeared in every movie, including Cars, and it's even in Bugs Life. It's Mm -hmm. a like it's always been there, and and I think this is such a cool scene in general where the bugs or where the toys drive the car. Um, You can't see the Woody, but wasn't the Woody pushing the pedals? I think so. Yes. Yep. Um, if I'm remembering it correctly, so Hot Top is going to have a, a carnage with tendrils. It's just the carnage we've already seen. Yeah. Um, Hot Top is also going to have a first appearance of Wonder Woman. I do like I that do one. Like it. Yeah, I do like. The She's got look. that 1920s, 1930s look mm-hmm. to her with the uh, you know the curly hair and the yeah, pretty like, I like that. All right, so knives chow. I do like I, I do like, like that. Yeah, I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. So it's um, Funko's been making cereal. Uh, they they're making a knives from Scott Pilgrim as the prize in this blue cereal. It's, it's more or less just Fruit Loops, colored yeah. Fruit Loops, and you get a mini pop. Mini pops usually like what five bucks? Yeah, around there, five, like five, five six, six bucks. Mm-hmm. So box of cereals four bucks. It makes sense. I just you know I find this funny. Like, did Funko just be like, you know what? People are just gonna buy whatever we make. So let's. <laughs> We've talked about this. Yeah, but Funko like... has that ability because of pop. They yeah. have that ability to just kind of throw some things at the wall. WWE did they think they were gonna sell bootios? Yeah. You know, and and here it is. It's everywhere, and people are paying twelve dollars a box, yeah. and all it is is Lucky Charms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not anything special. Yeah. So at least here you're paying ten bucks. Yeah, you're getting this crap ass cereal, mm-hmm. but you're also getting these pops. And what's really cool is now everything's got an expir- expiration date. I was just at Fye mm-hmm. and I saw boxes for six bucks. Oh, there you go. So now is the time to really start. And uh, the expiration dates, funnily enough, are in February, February, March. Hmm. So get out there for Christmas yeah. and grab a couple of these boxes. They were doing a buy one, get one half off, and they were six bucks. Nice. So there for you. nine bucks, you can get two yeah. boxes. And it tells you exactly what mini pop you're going to get. So it's not like you're... It's not a mystery. Yeah, yeah. there's no mystery there, um, which I kind of wish they did mystery minis in here. I think that would have been much cooler. Um, so at Target, I think there's going to be a Target booth. At the con. Oh, I have to double check yeah. this, but I think there is going to be a Target booth. If there is, that gives me hope. Yeah. Um, but I don't. I have very little hope in Target. Uh, but it is a vinyl, Funko vinyl of Akeem and Randy from... Um, coming to America. Coming to America. I cannot wait. Yeah, that looks I, good. I might grab that. I, I do like that one. At the least, vinyls are always hit or miss with us. Well, at least that that two pack vinyl makes sense mm-hmm. putting putting them together. You know, yeah. Like, well, same with the the vinyls for what we were talking earlier, yes. Gizmo and and Stripe. Well, it's not Stripe, just the Gremlin. Yeah. Um, kind of wish it, it should have been Stripe. Yeah, uh, I mean, I Gremlins are Gremlins are Gremlin, whatever. Yeah, but Stripe's got the mohawk. Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes him the leader. <laughs> so, um, but with the three D glasses, I love it. Yeah, it just looks so cool. Uh, but now I like the Hanna Barbera one too. So, all right, so I like the heads. I Mm -hmm. think the heads are a little more, they have a a little cooler of a style than a pop. Yes. You're trying to make, say, Snagglepuss and Huckleberry Hound here. Uh, You would have to kind of almost force them into the pop style. Yeah. And here I feel like it's the other way around. The style adapts to the the head and the art. They have a little bit more freedom with with the vinyl versus the the pops. Um, this is a great one too. Max Fisher and Herman Bloom from uh, Rushmore. He's got the black eye. Yes, it's so good. That's good too. I, the vinyl. Again. They finally started putting because we were mad yes. at the Barb and Seven Two Pack. Why was that yeah, even a thing? They made these really weird combinations with the Stranger Things ones. I I don't understand why. So going into the chat, Ryan Buchanan, absolutely, um, saying that box lunch exclusives make him crazy. The Winnie the Pooh, they did a flocked Winnie the Pooh, looked awesome. I don't even care about Winnie the Pooh. This just looked like a really good figure. Yeah. Um, it sold out immediately. I had wanted for us to get the Toy Story Land um, Green Army Men. Mm-hmm. Sold out immediately. Like everything just goes like immediately. Yeah, immediately. I think so. I, I just think it's something maybe with their site. Like it just doesn't. Their site isn't maybe user friendly in terms of like navigating, uh, because I had a hard time finding the uh, the the Fusion Dance two pack on there, and uh, eventually, like after trying, you know, for for maybe about ten minutes, I was like, I was starting to get nervous that I, I wasn't going to uh, to be able to get it. I I had gone over the, the Funimation site mm-hmm. and and ordered it. 
Uh, and even with the Funimation site, I had issues because yeah, um, that was a nightmare of a day. Yeah, I remember I, all that. Uh, I I had ordered it, and as I ordered it, it like timed out, mm-hmm. and uh, I emailed Funimation customer service, and shout out to Funimation customer service because they got back to me in a in a timely manner. I had to open the next day, so it's like I remember my, all yeah, of this. Yeah, it's, this it's is about nuts. one in the morning at this point. I'm waiting for them to get back to me and and, and everything to make sure that my order went through. And uh, they they got back to me in a timely manner, and they were like, "No, your order's good. We're getting it ready." And cool. I was like, "All right, I can go to bed now." So <laughs> I don't. I thought this was going to be a line of figures, and and I want this figure kind of badly. I do half-assedly collect rock candies, mm-hmm. only really the ones I like. I'm not trying to get them all. Um, this You're not one Pokemon. is from no. This is not Pokemon. <laughs> no, this is from the uh, Wreck It Ralph breaks the internet. The the Wreck It Ralph two. And it is comfy Pocahontas, mm-hmm. and she's wearing tights, like yoga pants, a sweatshirt, her hair is down, uh, she's just wearing comfortable shoes. Yeah. I think this is one of the funniest... Is that like you a never Disney? see? Yeah, yeah, that's it, Pocahontas. No, no, Disney's I know, Pocahontas. but I mean, in in her shirt, it, it looks like it's like a Disney castle, like the the maybe the yeah, logo. we can't really see yeah. it too well. Oh, uh, it's a it's a, a wolf house. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. From so when it's small, it looks like. It I looks think like... this thing is really, really funny. Yeah, I, I want that one. Um, that's going to be an Amazon, and then the other. Actually, this was the one at the Funko Shop I wanted. Margo Margo Tannenbaum from the Royal Tannenbaums. Clearly. They made a deal to buy all of these yeah. movies, um, but it's the um, Gwyneth Paltrow in her in her meek look, basically. Yes. And she's even got the wooden, uh, the wooden thing for her finger. Cause, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. It's, it's great. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing is great. I, I really love it. And then the other rock candies, which are going to be at the Target again. Oh, there goes that. <laughs> um, it's the Grady Twins, yes. bloody Grady Twins, as little rock candies in a little two pack. I think that's great. Uh, for five stars, there's going to be at GameStop BB Games a gold Batman. I like it, but I don't really care enough about it to be like. I don't. Uh, I don't like the figure, but I like that it comes with the bat signal. That's what that's, I like about yeah. these five stars. Mm-hmm. The the accessories are really really cool. Mm-hmm. The broom that comes with the Harry Potter from the Harry Potter pack was amazing. Um, Hot Topic is going to have a pink Harley Quinn. That's also going to be a five star, and Target. <laughs> Oh, it's going to have the Married Your Children 4-pack, so I guess that's the end of that. Um, that's that's what we got. Now, yeah. the rumors we're hearing bouncing around right now is of what day these things will be released. Um, we don't really know, and that that's kind of the problem. <laughs> I don't understand why they would change it. Like, at all, every other time they've been out the day that the con yeah. is, you know is coming out so or starting so why change it now because they're jerks yeah i guess so jerks 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 all right so let's look here real quick it doesn't look like there's going to be any marvel legends i think we're just going to kind of see what's coming up Mm -hmm. i don't know to say that we're going to see any toys for sale from them um lady wrestler rock candies would be awesome but well hey they wwe I'm going to guess it's going to be a licensing issue because Mattel makes the figures mm-hmm. in that scale, so maybe that might be an issue. Turn into, yeah, bobblehead, turn into a bobblehead. That's what will happen. Yeah. But, yeah, Comfy Pocahontas might be the best. Um, Pink Harley, yeah, Ryan's saying Pink Harley is a meh, but... Eh, of Gold course Batman. he doesn't care about Gold Batman. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we have to get the Harley out of principle, but yeah. I still don't want to spend 15 bucks on it, so blech. Um... Let's see. There was the band. Oh, that's what it was. Uh, Bandai. Sorry, guys. Oh, you know, and I, I guess we can um, leave this here in the chat. Would you guys want an all only audio version of the show? Mm-hmm. Um, we just recently got a really great app for Anchor FM. Um, it allows us to do really easy quick episodes whenever we really want in the all audio only format and then we can really upload those to every platform really fast mm-hmm. faster than we can do a show because we don't have to be together for it yeah we could do this uh, where chris is at his house and i'm here so would that be something you guys would be interested in in an all audio version be it itunes spotify whatever 
I won't have to look at his stupid face anymore. Your stupid face. <laughs> Your non figure arts love. Uh, hey, I love figure arts. I just don't buy them. It's different. Trick face. It's different. So, uh, figure arts this year, there's going to be a Vegito Dragon Ball um, figure. God damn, that looks so awesome. Look and cool. I don't even collect them. I don't. Yeah, I don't know where this like love for Vegito came from. It seems like he just out of nowhere. Do you watch nowhere. Super? Is that I, maybe I, part of it? Maybe. Uh, I mean, he he. I think Vegito was in um, GT as well before it got mm-hmm. like retcon and everything like that. It just seems like he got super popular like all of a sudden. So I don't know. I don't so know what happened. One of the other things from Funimation and by Bandai this year is going to be the Perfect Cell. This is also just another gorgeous figure. Um, we're looking at one here on eBay. Mm-hmm. This dude is looking for a hundred bucks on this. Truth is that this figure is going to come out at probably eighty dollars anyway. Yeah, It'll be between sixty and eighty dollars. It's huge. Um, figure arts may be the best figures, in my opinion, that are out there right now. I don't know of anything else that's that much better. Um, yeah, I guess our big announcement would be that we've got our own toys coming. Yeah. So we're we're trying to figure out bodies right now, which is funny because. <laughs> Because I customize a lot of wrestling figures and I really just take the heads and the accessories mm-hmm. and then leave these dud bodies, I've got a massive box of just, just bodies. bodies. yeah. So I have a funny feeling that we're going to see Krizza as every incarnation of a figure you can imagine, the same go. with the Bobby T. We'll be wrestlers, we'll be Jedis, we'll be everything in between. But I think you always have to come with a bag of chips. Yeah, there you go, of course. <laughs> Speaking of that, um, just, you know, the listeners, uh, I know they're already jealous of me because uh, Baby T had bought me a lanyard as a gift, right? Uh, so to continue with this, she bought me a bag of potato chips uh, earlier tonight. She did. Yeah. She did. Is it down? Or did you uh, I ate them, dude. I crushed those already. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. Well, I, what's yeah. even funnier, she doesn't really eat potato chips. Like yeah. That. She likes Cheetos, mm-hmm. like, like every other kid on the planet. Yes. She loves Cheetos. And um, she gives Chris the bag. Yeah, and I yeah. have another bag, and she shared Chris mm. shared a chip with her, and she just like took a bite. And got yeah, like, yeah. Big eyes. She was all excited. <laughs> uh, it was great. Yeah. So so she she came down here, of course, comes running towards me with with the bag of chips in her in her little hands, Some all dressed and, ruffles. Exactly. So she gave me the chips and everything like that, and uh, and you know I open it up and I'm eating one. And I was like, oh, do you want one? She goes, yes. You know, so. Uh, I'm just so, like Chris. Yeah, exactly. And then and then she she takes some more, and you know she's got a chip in her in her hand, and I've got the chip in my hand, and we're and she's like waiting for me to like eat it, you know. So then I finally put it in my mouth, and she puts it in her mouth, and she goes, "I'm just like Chris." It was awesome. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, uh, it was it was great too because she liked the chip, right? And I and I sat down uh, here in the chair, and we're just kind of you know talking and and everything, and. Mm. Uh, and you know, just getting ready for the show, and and I'm starting to eat some more, and she comes running over to me, and, and I knew, like you could tell she wanted more, you know. And then you had a bag down here, so you were like, "Hey, do you want, you know, do you want mm. some?" And then she, you know, she went and, gra- and grabbed. So some then food, but... it's funny because you've got big Krizzle with a little bag, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Then... And my little kid yeah, with this yeah, giant exactly. bag, exactly. And she's like reaching in up to her armpits to pull chips out. Yeah, yeah, yeah there was some chip love going yeah, on. Yeah, so I got a lanyard. I got a bag of chips for those of, for those of you at home keeping for, count. Those of are the, keeping count. Yeah, He's exactly. Up. Um, <laughs> yeah. So hey, we're getting a little bit of good reaction for the uh, an all audio version, no, and no. It, you know it, we would still obviously do this show, but it would give us the ability to do quick subjects. Yeah. If, if I just see something and I, I want to fire off something really fast, mm-hmm. um, it'll kind of give us that option. Uh, what's actually really cool too is this app. We can make. Um, little stingers and stuff ahead of time yeah and it saves them for you so then you can edit right in the app Uh, and release something almost immediately so yeah even if it's a little like 10 minute blurbs basically i think we might have to start doing that sorry guys (laughs) like oh here's a quick audio be like hey i cherry picked this pop from work here yeah there you go duh (laughs) duh so yeah um what else do you guys want to see at comic-con where should we go does does anyone have anything that we should definitely like aim towards i mean we have so much to do there that uh yeah, so actually one person I do want to check out mm. is, uh, it's kind of funny, I moved my computer and didn't even realize that his sticker was right mm. underneath. So if you go to vertebrae33.com, which I believe it's actually now .net, this is a very old sticker, um, 
Vertebrae is one of my favorite artists. He makes uh, t-shirts, prints, posters. Uh, he also works for WWE, making stuff for Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, uh, Roman Reigns himself, mm -hmm. Triple H, the all big dog. Of the big dog. Big dog. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, uh, yeah, Lightning Collection and Hasbro's, man. There's, there's going to be so much for Hasbro, but I don't even know what exclusives they have. Yeah. It, it seems like everyone's playing some things pretty close to the vest. i got to so. check out the Kotobukiya site, too, or mm. the, the booth. We were we were there last year, and they had a really cool um, Spider-Man uh, exclusive where it was like... Um, I think he was hanging from a lamppost, and it had he had like a, a scarf around yeah. his neck. Yeah, oh, it was, man, it was really it was cool. great. Oh, okay. So let's see. We have um, the products for the 2018 NYCC. You have the an exclusive Forces of Destiny Chewbacca with Porgs. Oh, that was a Comic Con exclusive SDCC. These are all CCC. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. oh no, look at that. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, guys. That's Hasbro Toy Shop too. Hmm. Action figures, insider. Ooh. Hmm? Ooh. Ooh. So, Brian Flynn, talk about Misfit Reaction, Kid Robot NYCC. Yeah, look, there's not really that much. Oh, what's the Lego one up there? Uh, it's for the new game. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, for the supervillains, yeah. So, yeah, there's going to be a uh, DC supervillains. I actually just saw it come up on Amazon when I was looking through games. Mm -hmm. We're going to get... Uh, we're trying to debate whether or not to get the Tomb Raider game right now. Oh, shout out to Tomb Raiders! Awesome. Or to get to wait and get Fallout. And I actually said to Lisa, mm -hmm. it might be smarter to wait for Fallout because when Black Friday rolls around, Tomb Raider is going to be one of those Black Friday yeah, games. Probably. And like um, Best Buy, it's going to be like twenty bucks, or on Amazon, or so. Yeah. It's going to be between twenty and thirty bucks. So, but Fallout will not be. It's going to be full price for a long time, yes. as as usually happens. So it's smarter for us to wait for Fallout and Pokemon than it is to get Tomb Raider and other things. Yeah. Cause well, um, I would probably Pokemon's never probably ever really going to go on sale. Never. Nintendo stuff rarely ever does. So nope. uh, that might be something you you just want to pick up when it comes out. But Tomb Raider is really good. Uh, I've been playing it on the Xbox. Uh, my roommate um, downloaded it, and we file share. So uh, I got That's a chance awesome. to start playing it. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, the cool thing about it is that you can adjust the difficulties. So it's not just... The game isn't just easy, medium, or mm. hard. Uh, you adjust the sliders for each individual uh, thing. So you can make the combat easy, but you can have the puzzles hard. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, so it adjusts to the player. Yeah, it's, it's so not you bad. Can kind of customize yourself on on if you want more combat or you want more puzzles. You know, you can make them easier, harder, and all that stuff. So Bluefin will be at uh, booth number sixteen twelve, and they are going to have. Oh, that's just beautiful. That does look awesome. It's a Bandai Shokugan Shogun Megazord, the Ninja Megazord, and White Ninja Falcon Zord in uh, mini mini plug mix so, or kits. That means those are going to be model kits. Wow. Gundam style model kits of giant Shogun yeah. level. Oh, I want that. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, those are even better. Uh, also in the super mini plus, they're calling it mini plus instead of gun plus. Same same deal, mini figures. Um, we're gonna get, get... <laughs> same company. Yeah. Um, Mega Man X ride armor sets, and then Mega Man X figures. Oh, oh yeah, dude, cool. those are blind boxes at nine bucks each. Are those like the ones we already got? I think that is. I think so. Yeah, those are we awesome. Read, um... Uh, Akiba, Akiba, Akiba Underground. Yeah, Akiba Underground. yeah, there's a there's a blind box Mega Man figures. They're about three inch to four inch tall, and they're mm -hmm. crazy detailed and really articulated. Totally worth it. And they're gonna um, um keys, the Keyblade yeah. keys. That's actually pretty great. It's a Little Mermaid one. Um, there's a ton of them. I can't really tell who's who here. Let's see. I have no idea. Yeah, because off this, that, and the other thing, Oath Keeper and. Without the game, I don't know. Yeah. We're actually going to be talking to him oh, fairly nice. soon. It's uh, Daniel Pickett from Action Figure and Marketing for Gentle Giant. Yeah. So, all right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh oh, I think we froze. That's really, really, really funny. Yeah, we froze. Guys, it's just going to be a minute. We froze up. That's really funny. We're actually getting ready here to... to uh, yeah, we're going to come back on here in a second. We're, we're, um, we're getting ready to wrap up here soon anyway. So, um, yes, I Lisa, I did tell the story of the time that you almost stabbed me because I jumped out to scare you. Uh, that was probably one of the funniest things that has ever happened. Sorry, we were we were trying to look at the screen mm -hmm. and we didn't uh, we didn't know what we were kind of that we were frozen. Yeah, so. sorry guys. Um, that is really really funny. She really did actually try to stab me, man. So well, I mean, you kind of deserved it. I kind of yeah. kind of look. <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally deserved it. So PCS Toys uh, collectibles. I don't think they're going to be selling anything, but I do. Really? Yeah, well, they usually do pre-sales okay. because they have such a large thing it's that it's they, they're not going to have a stock of three foot tall statues sitting inside of the thing. Do they sell the statues that they have on display? Like, that happened the, last year. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, okay. One of the dudes had bought. Um, Right then and there, mm -hmm. he, he bought the Sagat, and he, but he had to wait to get it because the you know you got to clear certain things. Gotcha. So, uh, but yeah, if you check out at Vertebrae Thirty Three, going back to what we were, had been talking about, you'll see uh, the artist that I'm talking about. He's a does a lot of heavy metal stuff. This year, he's going to have uh, for prints a Seth Rollins print signed by Seth Rollins, and then also a print of one of my favorite metal bands, Amount of Marth. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one I'm going for. He'll also be carrying some of his past shirts, some of his new shirts, and then also a special edition green Cthulhu shirt, which I cannot wait for. Yeah, that looks good. A um, Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet on his hands, mm -hmm. and he's like all metaled out. Um, and then stickers. So if you buy two shirts and a sticker pack, you'll uh, two shirts, you get a sticker pack. Then he has a, a couple other figures going on. I can't wait. This this really is one of my favorite guys. Is at the um show. is Knights of the Slice doing anything for Comic Con this year? Yes, Knights of the Slice. Let me get the exact booth down here. Um, there's going to be the remainder of the um, Slime Knight stock that is out there. Hold on, let me just make sure because Jesse Cause, just posted about their their schedule. Yeah, the last year's uh, Comic exclusive that they had with um what was it they did they did that one with Super Seven right. Yeah, that okay, so there's not really going to be cool. something like that. Okay. That was amazing. Yeah. That was a uh, Vector Jump Knight and a one of their the worst figures from Super 7 in a two pack. That was that was awesome. Yeah. I love the packaging. Um and what they did was they had switched up so uh Brian had chose the color path and colorways for the Vector Jump and then Jesse got yeah. to paint the worst figure the way he wanted to, so that was really cool. All right, so Scatum Slime Knights, uh, they're going to be at booth number 888. Um, oh, they are cool. re-releasing the very last of the uh, Spoopy Slime Knight, <laughs> and there's going to be a signing at the My Plastic Heart booth at 888. Uh, booth 888 they will be there from 12 to 1 on both friday and on saturday and actually we'll go over this uh this night's update here there's going to be a weapons pack coming out that i cannot wait for there's going to be a sword some guns uh a few other rando pieces um one of my favorite heads what we just call the falcon head is going to be getting produced more i made a ton of these resin pieces so you're going to see more of the resin pieces and a new chance at the all in five um you're also going to have an action figure of the month club. Uh, we're going to be doing, again, tons of resin releases. We recently had a new colorway of the Fallout stuff that mm -hmm. I can't really talk about what, what the exact colorways, but guys, you're going to be very excited for this. Uh, those run for 10 bucks a piece over at GameStop. So, um, tons of stuff on the way, though. I, I just cannot wait. Too many damn toys. Yeah, as usual. As usual. We're probably going to go a little crazy. Got that funny yeah, feeling. I, yeah. I have a feeling where our Sunday morning show, which we always do before we go mm -hmm. to the con, uh, just the kind of like what we saw, what we want. I got a funny feeling. Uh, we went a little crazy yeah. this time. Is always it's always the sentence that gets uh, down here. Nuka Cola. Shh, can't talk about it. <laughs> so, um, what else, man? I think I think that's I it. Think I think that's we're just it. yeah. Stay tuned because I, yeah, there really right. is going to be a lot of stuff coming from us from Comic Con. So check us out at This Toy Life on our Instagram, our Facebook, and our YouTube. 
And I, I think that's where we're going to find yeah, us the we're, most we're right just, now. You know, we're counting down to con is really at this point. Yeah, Pretty we're... much, yeah. And then after the con's over, you're going to be able to grab some Bobby T and Krizza figures mm-hmm. um, with Lisa and Baby T on the way. I just have to... Lady faces are hard to work on. Yeah, is that what it is? It's You know yeah. what? It's uh, There's a fine line between what you want to sculpt and sloth from the Goonies. <laughs> it's, and you cross it that very easy. That. One little slip of the hand and all of a sudden it's, hey, you guys. I uh, I used to paint um, Warhammer figures when mm-hmm. I was, uh, when I was uh, a kid, you know, 16, 17, 18. So last week, gotcha. And, uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I am terrible with that stuff. I do not have a steady hand at all. Mm. And of course, you've got this figure probably about this big, and the head is about that big, and then you've got the eyes, you know? And I've got like, you, you've got that fine tip paintbrush. And when you've got the head in your hand here, and the paintbrush is in your other hand right here. All is fine. You're like, all right, I'm 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 ready to go. Look, I'm I'm good. And then as the brush starts to get closer, you start to freak out more and more. And then and then the hand starts to go <laughs> and go like this. And then and then you 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 finally manage to, to muster the courage to drop that little tip right on the eyeball. And, oh God! And then and, yeah, and then you got to take the base spray out. <laughs> so let me. Uh, I'll give you guys the the piece of advice as a literally a professional toy painting yeah. um paint your eyes first is that what yeah you paint the eyeballs first and then you go you paint mm-hmm. around the eyeballs because you can always mess up and just mm-hmm. cover it with skin tone and it, it just looks like eyes yeah uh, i uh i just you know i would grab the uh i'd grab the, the black base coat and just spray it over again <laughs> all right let's let's do this again <laughs> Uh, and now you know why I don't play Warhammer anymore. The, the, yeah, that's the, it, huh? Right that so, is so expensive. Right now, uh, just to jump into the chat real quick, the Vault Tech. Um, no, all of the stuff we're making right now with Mega Merge is um, it's the Power Armors, the T51, and so on. Um, you can find them, again, on GameStop's website or even right there in the store. Uh, they use the Glios platform, and if you actually go to the Glios websites, you'll find a um, double-sided peg. What that's actually for is because the leg joints and arm joints on that figure are in reverse, mm. meaning the forearms usually have a male peg, mm. and then the bicep has a female joint uh, at its base. They flip that for what I don't know yeah. the reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, it was flipped, but you can go on and get double sided pegs. You just pop that into the hole, and it turns one into the other. That's gotcha. all. Um, so. The Vault Tech theme power armor. I don't know yes. what you mean. <laughs> um, here, hold on. It, uh, you, you can talk yeah. for a second. Here, so, uh, one of the other reasons why I stopped playing Warhammer is because Games Workshop is a ripoff. Uh, I love their product. Uh, the figures are awesome, and the um, the designs are really good. The problem is, is about. 15 years ago, you could buy a blister of a unit of pewter figures, glue them to the base, Mm -hmm. and, you know, do the the base coat and start painting. And they were about 30 bucks. Now, you have to buy the same unit, but instead of it being a pewter uh, figure, it's that... Uh, I, there's a specific name for the type of plastic that they use. Uh, I don't really uh, um, recall off the top of my head now, but they give you extra sprues so that you can customize the the head and everything like that. Mm. And uh, they're still charging you thirty dollars, <laughs> Be- even though they know full well that you're not going to use all of the heads that they give you or all of the the yeah, the body it's, parts. it's the bits they yeah, call them the bits yeah, box exactly. So they're you're basically they they found a way to make a cheaper product but still pay the same because they're giving you they're extra giving you the pieces. Parts. Yeah, yep. uh, it's awful. It's it's horrible. <laughs> so yeah, that uh, up there in front, that's uh, going to be a factory first shot of the Vault Tech Power Armor T fifty one Power Armor. Uh, it's one of the ones on the way. It has been announced, so I can I can show it. Uh, there's another one that's been announced, I think, but I'm not going to show it quite yet. Mm-hmm. It is back in the case over there, but you guys can't really see it. So, um, 
yeah, I think we're going to wrap this one up, guys. So leave any comments. Please leave them uh, down here, not in the chat, but in the comments. Uh, that really does help us out with engagement. That's what yeah. YouTube really likes to see here. Yeah, let so, us know uh, what you're looking forward to at uh, Comic-Con and yeah. uh, what uh, you... Maybe some of the things we missed because yeah. there's so much. Or if you're going to be there, leave a comment. Let us know, you know yeah. if you're going to be there. Maybe we can... Drop us a you. little two seats. There you yeah. go. Get some food at Gotham Market or something. Oh, we can get, yeah, wait. There you I'm go. I'm so pumped. Now I got to go look at <laughs> yeah. it. And actually, we uh, we even made it a point that in the end of, at the end of Comic-Con, oh, we, froze up, uh, we froze up. Guys, we froze up. We know it. Chris is about to fix it right now. We actually, luckily, we were watching at that time. No, it looks like we're good. That's weird. Yeah, might be oh, yeah. Okay. There we are. Weird. Looked like we froze up. Didn't. So, yeah, anyway, um, we are going to be going to the Pompton Queen Diner. Yeah, of course. Right there after we figure it's going to be a long con. That's I want to end it in, in like, the best yeah. possible diner we can end it in. Some good old diner food and then... Oh, I can't wait. And then cheesecake. Dude, baklava yeah, yeah, cheesecake, man. All. It is just the absolute best. So, let's see... That's just me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's weird. It was just us. So, guys, I think we're going to sign out here. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Definitely share. Definitely subscribe. Definitely make comments. Help us out here. Let's get moving here. We're about to hit 200 subscribers. We, yeah. I think we're at 184, 185. So get us up there in 200, and we're just, that's when we get more stuff. Yeah. Stuff, stuff, stuff. So, guys, in the meantime, please do remember, you bought it because you love it, and that's all that matters. And don't forget to celebrate this toy life for life. Or this con life. I think that's yeah, its right? con life yeah. now, man. For this week. Uh, yeah, I think uh, doing a podcast might be us. That might work out pretty well. <laughs> so I'm looking at the We're yeah. going to look at the chat real quick as it kind of goes goes in. Uh, Ryan saying baklava cheesecake. Yeah, it really is that nuts. So baklava cheesecake, quite literally, is, is what it sounds like. And it so, I think they added a, a few more little things to it. Mm -hmm. So now it's baklava at the bottom, yeah. then a piece of like spongy honey cake. Mm -hmm. like, so it's sponge cake with honey, then cheesecake, yeah. then another piece of that cake, and then baklava on top of oh, that. Yeah. It, the piece is like this big now. It's a little bit bigger. It's crazy. Um, yeah, the last time you guys were there, you brought me back um was a, a the like, oreo no, 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 that was it? the first time the last time uh it was um the black forest uh, yes. cake and that was insane it was a nine cake. layer black forest yeah, cake oh my god just crazy i man. can feel the diabetes <laughs> <laughs> you just <laughs> chop that foot off oh no, yeah take it yeah we we're absolutely gonna go there and well it's because we figured out that it was it was like 90 minutes from the crappy diner we went yeah. to yeah or it's 95 minutes from the one we want to go to in Jersey, but we got to drive an extra 15 minutes to get to it. Who cares? Yeah. Like, who even cares at that point? I mean, that diner that we went to um, with, with Josh wasn't bad. It was just the diner, just, Yeah, and I mean, it, you know, they didn't really like the fact that Josh and I almost got into an argument over anime, you know, that Yeah, was, you guys got yeah, a little yeah, heated up there. <laughs> well, I think you were arguing Future Diary no, versus... No, 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 we uh, were talking about music. Kill a Kill? Or? No, 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 we were talking about music anime because he was asking me about any good ones, and I was like, oh, you should watch um, K-On!, and he was like, oh, I never, I never heard of that. I was like, dude, you never, I was like, you never seen K-On? Like, and I, I got really upset because he seemed to be really into the musical animes. And then you, that's like a, a yeah. you know, a, a, it's, it's almost like a DBZ. Yeah, like K-On is like a, the DBZ of, you know, musical mm -hmm. animes or whatever. And yeah, you like, guys got heated up. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was going to pop off. And of course, it was like one in the morning, too. And we're like the most animated people there. Uh, we uh, did freeze up uh, officially this time. But it's all right. We are winding it down anyway. But it is kind of funny that Michelle said that uh, just chop the foot off will now forever be how she rates desserts. <laughs> <laughs> just chop it. So, yeah, guys, again, like, share, subscribe, and all those things in between. And uh, we'll, we'll keep the funny coming. Yeah, Toy Life for Life. Chop, chop. Yeah.